Hi, thanks for joining me. So this is what ought to be the third video of me um, just playtesting a script for um, as I say, Pachi Pro Pachi Okun. Uh, here we're gonna play a little bit of Pachinko. So um, let's check out one of these uh, these end machines. So uh, you know, it's not necessarily going to be a good thing, but there's a there's kind of a myth around pachinko parlors that here by you know the front doors where people come in that these excuse me these machines at the ends of the rows might uh, might actually pay out a little bit better because um you know the the parlor wants uh people that are just coming into the the parlor or that maybe are on the street to be able to see people that look like they're winning and go oh i could win too let me go in there and play a machine so uh, let's take a look at this so we've got machine number 32. all right so this is our machine um you know what type what style of machine is this i'm not really sure honestly you know they talk about the different styles of machine is this a regular machine could be um, but if if we hit select here, this is the real trick. So we can continue, we can quit, or we can look at the nails. So this is the key part. So if you remember those, the guys were talking about, hey, you want to find a machine where the nails. He specifically was talking about the, uh, I think ten kugi, so that this is the you know, what you might call heaven nails or sky nails. And I I think I elected not to try to call them heaven or sky nails because again we're not you know ignorant westerner and ignorant person who hasn't played pachinko before isn't necessarily going to know what that means but i think i said the topmost nails is what i called these and that's what they are they're the topmost nails so he said you'd want to find ones that are bent upward and apparently this is a real thing so in these pachinko parlors you would have these like pin doctors basically uh is what they would be called and so they literally um adjust the pins on the machines to you know make a machine pay out more or less so that like the the pachinko parlor doesn't go under but you know you have to have enough that pay out a little bit so that people like come in and play your play your machines so um so this book that i read mentioned you know what you want to look for on all like these different so this this only lets you look at like certain sections of nails so you can look at the nails over each one of the um these chuckers or these these scoring slots so these are all going to be scoring slots this one too i believe uh and this one uh and then you can also look at the 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 topmost nails and then this is like what is over what i think i was calling a gimmick which is just this this thing in the center and I believe that the book was calling the thing in the center a um, I don't think it was a generator maybe it was a generator I think it was calling it a generator because it essentially generates um, like more balls for you and it's what you want to get it in I can chat you know what I have the script yeah so I, I call it the generator or the central generator um based on that book you know and you know maybe you guys think the, the gimmick sounds better i could call it the central gimmick but i mean if i wasn't here explaining to you what a gimmick was you might not know what that is granted you might not necessarily know what a, a generator is but especially like you could still call it like a central gimmick or a central generator but anyway again i just i think if there's a book about this i might as well you know i might as well go by that so um so yeah here you go so sometimes you know you, you want these to be like open um you know obviously if the pins are closed like the balls aren't going to go in so you can kind of see like the pins right above this this particular scoring slot they're closed so probably nothing's really going to go in there here these are open um so things you know would probably slide down but again there's that one pin that's straight so like the ball might bounce off of it once it gets down to the bottom you know if it's that one that's bent to the left there is probably going to direct the ball the ball toward the hole but the other one might you know could deflect it off sometimes but you know you should be able to score on that i think uh you could probably score on this um you could probably score on that um, this, you know, things are zoomed around a lot. At the very least, you know, it might deflect some things around. Um, this one is closed off pretty well, so you probably aren't really going to be able to score on that. And then this only has two of them sticking up, 
Uh, these ones are sticking up though, which means you can probably get stuff in there. So it seems like you can probably get things into this generator. You can probably get things into like, probably these without too much trouble. So I don't know. I mean, I wasn't actually necessarily planning to play this, but this one might be worth trying out. But that's the real thing is you want to try to find the, oops, the, uh, the machine that has the, uh, you know, the pins that are set up so you can actually, you can actually win, <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, so, we'll, so we're gonna basically set this to start launching the balls. This is like how strongly they launch. So we're gonna put it about midway and I'm just holding the button down and launching this stuff. So I'm gonna shoot him for like, to go into those um, 10, 10 kugi, the upper, uppermost nails. And I don't know. I mean, we're, we're not seeing anything happen here. So, cause like it got down, it's going down to that one um, scoring slot and it's just, it's getting bounced. Remember how I said like that, that one bent nail might, might move it to the, you know, how to keep it bounced, bounced to the right. It's bouncing to the right and it's going straight, straight off of that thing. Um, so yeah, this, this doesn't bode well to me. Oh gosh. And we only have, yeah, this is dangerous because we're just starting off with our first, um, boy, I don't know. I might've just screwed myself because <laughs> we're just starting off with our first like hundred yen of balls. I don't think we get any more balls. Let me try another one. I don't know. Yeah. Quit. No. Yes. There we go. That quits the whole thing. All right. That, that I might just have to start over and we'll play a different, you know, because once you start winning some balls, you're pretty good. But like we didn't win any balls there, so uh, you you can screw up a little bit more, and it doesn't matter so much. Right at the beginning, it's tough. All right, what do we got? Okay, these are all facing up. That's good. Um, you know, again, that might that might shoot stuff off, kind of like that other one did. That's pretty closed off at the top. Mm, that's pretty. That's kind of closed down. You might be able to get stuff in there. I don't know. That's pretty closed down. Yeah, that that might work. Um, that might work. Boy, I don't know. And again, it's tough because we have so we have so few balls. I don't even know. But I so I, what I could do here is like I could try shooting for the right hand side. You know, and I'm not like I want to continue here. I'm I'm not a pachinko expert, so. Uh, but I have had some success in this game. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot my couple balls that I barely have here. Okay, wow. <laughs> so yeah, so you can see I'm I'm scoring on that one a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I don't know, here we go, okay. Yep. So we're getting that central, uh, you know, gimmick or, or the uh, generator to activate a little bit. That got us a lot more balls, so we have a little more, you know, room. But, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm making it faster. I wanted to make it slower. <laughs> Let's see what we can get here. Because we, we went, it went good and then it dried up. So that's another thing that can happen. Man, I'm, I'm wandering low on balls. I can't, I don't think I can keep doing that. Oh man, that's rough. Okay. Next, I think we just gotta go to the next one. It's better to find something that is really, really seems good. Okay, this is a different style machine. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, that's a good sign. That might be okay, that might be okay. That's not so good. That might be okay. That's not so good. That's pretty good. Um, again, it's tough because I have so few balls, but let's let's give this one a try.
Okay, so I'm getting, you know, I'm scoring a little bit here. Um, yeah, I just got one into the the uh, generator. I haven't really been seeing what else I scored on. I don't really know. That's another thing, is it's like it helps to know, you know. It's like they talk about strategies for the different kinds of machines. Oh, okay. So this has these little wings that open up. And that might be kind of like a... Maybe that's part of the Hikoki. Oh yeah, it's it's a, it's an airplane. Like you can see it. I didn't even really notice that it looks like an airplane. So you know, the airplane. So and that at least you know if they're talking about the airplane machines, that actually looks like an airplane. So this is a Hikoki machine. So good. That's good to know. All right, and this is what you're supposed to do. See how I just won a bunch of balls. So this seems like a machine. Like we could we could probably tap this one out. Um, but I need to un I need to understand the scoring a little better on it I think other than just getting stuff into this generator although I mean if that's that's what it is that's what it is so I'm I'm shooting right for those pins at the top uh, now it went in something else I didn't see what but it might be those it might be like that two at the bottom that seems like something that maybe you could get some stuff into. But again, it, nothing's... Oh, there, yeah, see, something went into the two just then. And something just went into the uh, the generator. So now we're getting the plane. And it, it only ran for, like, what, well, it opened its wings, like, twice or something, maybe. I didn't even see what that was. I mean, you can't keep track of, like, the whole... I don't know what you call it, a board, I guess. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm making small adjustments to the... Um, you know, the the speed, the force with which it ejects these these balls. And I'm just holding the button to keep them coming out. Oh man, we're drying up a little. What's going on? So, you know, you can shoot... You can shoot to have it just fly right in between some of those, um, those nails at the top. Or you can shoot to have them kind of bounce. But, uh, you know, it just depends sort of like a, you know, they're not always consistent. And that's probably how this actually played, and it was it was probably fun because of it, you know, because, like, there's, there's a little bit of chance, there's a little bit of skill. You could win some money, you know? It's a, it's a good combo, and this is, you know, it's a little bit exciting. So you get the, get the plane opening its wings. Um, like I said, I, I didn't understand this at all before. I was like, I have no clue about Pachinko, and now I'm like, oh, I, I get it. <laughs> this I'm actually enjoying a, a Pachinko game. It's, pre it's pretty, uh, I never thought this day would come. I call, I call it a hollow victory, because I'm like, you know, whoop-dee. <laughs> Yay, I, I, I figured out how to, like, enjoy Pachinko. Is, does this mean, like, my life is... <laughs> my life has not gotten any better because of this. So we've dried up again, but you can see, you know, we've got, like, what, 500 balls now? And, uh... You know, you get a little dry spot, and then, and then you start scoring. And, uh, you know, you just try to keep it going. And, and the ultimate thing is, like... I mean, it shows you how many balls are left. I think this has like, you know, 1,330 something. And um, you want to get all the balls out of the machine. That is your goal. You know, because I guess it's like if you have a machine you can score off of, then you can, you can score off of it. You ought to be able to empty it out. And we're not talking major amounts of money here because like if, if we empty this whole thing we've basically gotten I think like twenty dollars you know maybe twenty dollars worth of balls and and there's you know the rate at which they'll buy balls back is like less than the rate at which they'll sell them to you so maybe it's like a little less than that or uh, and and also you know you guys probably know about this but pachinko is not necessarily something that you're supposed to play for money it's uh it's more of a like you can you can win prizes. I think that's kind of like how it's not really gambling. It's sort of like you play skee ball, you know, here in the in the states at like a, a video game arcade, and you get tickets, and then you use those tickets to trade in for like, you know, some candy or a uh, you know a souvenir cup or you know kind of junk like that. 
Um, so you can do the same thing in Japan. And I think they kind of made, you know, playing pachinko. And I think they kind of made it so it was like you could do it for, you know, some things that are actually useful, like household items and stuff that might, you know, you might, like non-perishable food or like, you know, laundry detergents or something like that. It might save you like a few bucks of actual, you know, money. Um, so because you wouldn't go and buy it at the store. But, you know, of course there's this under, um, you know, sort of back alley illegitimate way of dealing with this too so you know I was reading in the book specifically you're gonna you could also trade it in for these like tradable items so it'll be something small that's like has very little value anyway so I think they were giving the example of like a uh, lighter flint you can go down to that window and you can trade in your flints for for money uh, so there's you know a place that'll buy that'll buy back Gosh, this really seems like the music has changed, and like I, okay, I guess it was just like I won kind of, kind of big there. Um, so yeah, we should be almost done with this machine. I think I can get this to pay out. Um, but yeah, anyway, so you could trade it in for for real, real cash money. And uh, you know, it's a thing. It's, it was popular anyway in the '80s, at least. Um, there's still pachinko parlors and stuff now. I think it's like, you know, it's a little different. Um, but like I said, you know, I finally understand like why people might buy these video games. Because on one level, they actually want to learn how to play real machines. You know, because the real machines have like this sort of um, flow to like how they actually you win the jackpots. And sometimes it's a little complicated. Okay, so now we have a sticker at the top of the machine, which means that it's like it's closed. So let's check our text here and see how we translated it. Okay, so this says pan pakapan number 27 machine omedito gozaimas uh uchi dome uh shori shori ryo des shuryo des I can't, like, I'm, seriously, I'm talking about stuff and it's like, it's hard to just switch to reading Japanese. Um, Dayo kawate uh, asonde kudasai. So uh, they're saying, ta da, congratulations to machine number 27 in this case. Um, it's so, play out is complete, please play a different machine. Um, you know, please, pl so Dayo kawate, so really it says, please. It's Japanese, it's not like one-to-one -to, -one to English. I was trying to get the fact that it's like, because it's Dai-O uh, Kawate, so it's like, change machine, please play. So it's it's pretty much like, please play, please change machines and play, but that, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't sound good in English. Anyway, I think that's fine. I think I translated it well. So, um, so that's that. Um, yeah, it's been long enough. Um, let's go ahead and stop there. And what I'm going to do is just try to, like, play out four more machines, I guess, so that we can switch over to a different parlor. And maybe I'll go back to some of the people that I just answered no to their questions and try answering yes to it so we can, like, catch their lines, too. So if this was fun, I hope you join me for the next episode. Thanks for watching.